And I'm willing to bet that if I was having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with each and every one of you, and if I asked you that the last time you gave a great effort at anything that you did, did you, was that a choice? Did you choose to work hard? And I'm willing to bet most of you would nod an acknowledgement because you know that you chose to give your best effort. Well, if working hard is a choice, there has to be another side of that coin. If working hard is a choice, that means not working hard. That is also a choice, often an unconscious one, but it's still a choice nonetheless. And for you to continue to be the high performers and the leaders in your industry, you have to choose to give your best effort as consistently as you can. And then the second half is our attitude, is acknowledging that we do not control what goes on in the world, but we are 100% responsible for our attitude and our response to what goes on in the world. And another thing that unites high performers is it does not matter what happens, they choose a response that moves them forward and improves their situation. Instead of choosing a response that cripples you and moves you back and makes things worse. Now keep in mind, with everything I said about mindset and even with attitude and the controllables, this does not mean that you like everything that goes on in the world. This doesn't mean that certain outcomes that happen are your preference. It simply means that they are out of your control and you're going to find a response that will actually improve your situation. I think it is fantastic that you all have tangible goals, numbers that you are trying to hit. But once you've figured out the North Star that you're pursuing, you don't have to continue to focus on that. You need to refocus and shift your focus on the process, on the micro steps and the daily behaviors that will greatly increase the chance that you'll actually achieve that goal. Focus on the micro steps and the daily behaviors that if you inch towards every single day and you build it brick by brick, you will greatly increase your chance of that outcome coming true. And I say brick by brick because that's the best example I can think of when it comes to the process. I'm not very handy. I'm not very good with tools. I'm not very good at building stuff, but I, I have full confidence in myself that I could build a sound, sturdy wall. And the reason I have that confidence is because I've learned how to respect, trust, and appreciate the process. I'm capable of picking up one brick and setting it exactly where it needs to go. And then picking up another brick and setting it exactly where it needs to go. And as long as I keep my focus on laying each and every brick with care and precision, the wall will take care of itself. I don't need to keep focused on the wall. I just need to focus on laying every brick as perfectly as I can.